Shock ammo could help. Take care of any Eclipse guards still around. Guards still around. Anyone here this time? Or did they even check that? Guard still around.
guess it's not gonna hurt it much. Destiny. still around. No longer are we burdened by the Kasha masses. We are free. Free to conquer. still around. Guards still around. I think I'm getting in through here. You see that too? Are the eclipse guards around? <gasps> There's a cauldron right here. I need to take care of any 
Eclipse Guard still around. That's all of them. Now, I need to get into these ruins. Stop whatever this Vesra's doing. Hey! I can help you get in. Let's talk. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. The others ran off. Will they be okay? They'll run straight for Plainsong. No guarantees, but they'll probably make it. I'd be tied. They'll either be working or penned up. I'll keep an eye out for them. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. That sounds bad. You should probably head back- And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help! Then stay here, and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. In some battle, the old ones fought here. The old ones fought hard here. Looks like this place was under siege. An outlander? Who is she? Help us! Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. 
Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. Otaru Prism. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death! Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vezra. By mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. <sighs> the savior of Marie. How kind of you. Deliver Shut you. up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out, fast. harder for that. Not with this. We'll both be gone in an instant. No! 
You just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others, I, I told them to hide. Are, are they? Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plain Song. Thanks, Jeff. Listen, sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades, said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know. But I intend to find out. It looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around. Loyal Eclipse. I don't know if there's any more Eclipse we need to worry about. If you're about. seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is all... I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. Five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, and will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. Guess that's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you, but if you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plain Song. I hope you make it there. Brighter day.
An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. Cell. But it looks like it's out of power. This isn't the right way. Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. I'm in. There's some kind of device here. That's no good. I have the pole caster on that. can slot this energy cell into that device. <laughs> huh. 
Here we go. Charge the energy cell. Discharge the energy in the cell. I gotta power it up again. Well, I'm not getting up there then, sorry. I gotta find something that can help. Okay, let's get this crate out of there. Kind of lock for the door. Looks like it needs power. There. The lock on the door above should have power now. Interesting. Could help. Okay, this thing has power now. There we go. Another relic. Better keep it safe. Maybe I'll figure out what to do with it later.
I took down that shellwalker for you. Vonda, Rendor, we got a pickup. For our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. What? Well, I realized an armor made out of shellwalker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? Didn't find what you were looking for. I know I can make the perfect armor. I just need the right parts. It's... What else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas. Strong, supple. I could use them to make my armor more flexible. We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract. See what I can do. Best of luck! Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, scrapper jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. I should get going. I'll be waiting for that salvage. This is...
I want to read through these contracts when I get the chance. See what I'm getting into. Fires are not a here. Be safe! Come back soon.
put your shards to you.
for when I need it.
gotta say, feels good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. It's a dead end. Looks like a cave in. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? Talana, I think I found something. In the rubble. What is it? What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. I know it ends abruptly when that tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. Take this to a dyer later. If I find the right cauldron, I could learn how to override this machine.
Gordon. Anyone around? The blight is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. There's Moral and Zoe. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsaw. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Otaru could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. May you always I'm here, as promised, and singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Oh no, 
knows how many machines are in that cave. Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Pineson? Resupply him for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. That a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. I prefer the sound of... I'm sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Maybe anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Do you need rations, Hunter? How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses.
service. Bringing an outlander before the course. I hope this works. It'll be worth it, sir. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. Dyer's plants or samples, they might show you their skills. So keep an eye out for them. All these people gathered. Reminds me of Mother's heart back in the Nora sacred lands. Everyone would crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. You must miss him. A little. Session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so, will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. 
You would have us do the same with our neighbors. Our children! And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, Aloy. Fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend planes. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? I'm right. Then, yeah. Machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just me. No, no. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. That's a good here. Here we go!
Yes, that's the last one. Now onto the cordon. Right behind you. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. You really hurt them! It's over. Extra. What's that ahead? Like a cauldron door. Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. On the temple. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen, the machines we've been fighting, they're different, more dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead and be ready for anything. to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines in here. We'll have to take them out. Right behind. Uh, 
Happy to see me? being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is Minerva? Maybe. But I have a feeling that's not all. Places like these next killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Something. Looks like parts of those pearls are rotating. Maybe if I shift the gears, I can lock them into place. Make it pack up. Sure. 
Should be heavy enough. Can't fit the crate through that opening. You can find a way across, Aloy. I'm working on it. on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. Okay, 
cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. All this metal. Over you two. over facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always possible they used to be part of something good something called Gaia more of those cables covering that door I think we're almost at the core Oh no. What has Hephaestus done to her? Turned it into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks me, you know what we have to do. Bar, are you ready? We have to get 
override nearby to shut it down. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Heal our lands. Save my people. Oh, this time, this time. 
Up we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on you. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Let's find out. This has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. All the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. So, at least not directly. Attention, all personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope. Sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. This leads. Shutting me out.
Locked. What are all those cables in the center for? Looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising. I can find a way up there. Like this might be where data is stored, but I don't see a way to access the system. I better keep looking. Guess I'm not going that way. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. Oh, I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? to that ledge. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? Some of those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Alert. System core penetrated. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again, but only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Misery will cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish 
to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. the network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy, until my initialization is complete. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Looks like some kind of storage room. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. 
I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. <sighs> Door's locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Oh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. It looks like plants could grow here. Getting ideas? Perhaps. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, Prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay. 
so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius Star System. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluvia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be bridge device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? 
I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth. Human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I 
do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies... Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. The world always seems quieter when it snows. <laughs> 